Good evening. So I want to do a follow-on review to my RAGE 2 evolution saw that I picked up a uh, couple weeks ago and finally got to use in last week. I absolutely love this saw. I um, went to Metal Supermarket, who is my local um, go-to supplier for small quantities of stuff, and I, I bought some angle iron for my project, and I was able to make a bunch of really accurate cuts very, very quickly with it. Um, I even stacked three pieces of quarter inch plate and you know it took some time to buzz through it but it did buzz through it. So my follow on is uh, I have the stand that Home Depot sells. Now Home Depot doesn't know they sell this. I asked the question on their website and they responded to me that they didn't think they sold it and some other jackass said that it was a um, uh, that any stand would work, but I wanted to buy the Evolution saw and um, just see, or not saw, I wanted to buy the Evolution stand. So let's cut this bad boy open and see how it works. Because quite frankly, if I thought any stand would work, I would have bought the Harbor Freight one with wheels on it for $10 less. But the rest of their tools are amazingly well designed. Apparently it's a British company. So here is Evolution saw stand, and I wish that I had the piece of paper that came with the 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 actual saw that that described this. So let's see what we got. So first thing it says to do is to thread the knobs onto the stand to lock the arms in place. But that's okay. You know, this is a $100 miter stand and that DeWalt is a $300 miter stand or $200. I don't remember what it was. It was expensive. Okay. It's going to require a adapter plate because this saw is too too wide. You know, it's funny. Um, they maybe they're right. Maybe they don't make one. But I'm going to go get the card that says they do. A one foot piece of this is more than sufficient, so I'm going to make it 14 inches wide. Now I was going to get the advertising piece that was in with the saw that suggested buying the miter. Um, However, I can't do that because I threw the whole box away, and um, yeah. So, anyway, um, let me. short ones will do just fine.
Okay, so moment of truth. Let's find out if we've done this too far forwards or too far backwards. So this is our test fitting. And what we want to see here is, I don't have anything, oh, there we go. So assuming this was a piece of stock, what we want to see is that the back of the plate, when we put the saw on here, where we're probably going to stick it, what we want to see is that the back of the plate lines up in here somewhere along these rollers on both sides. And it's a little tight here, but you know what? It's on the roller. And then what we want to do is we want to advance this all the way and see if it lines up on the other end, which I'm sure it will. bring this in. This is done on a $10,000 bandsaw and you can see it's clearly got some warp here. The rest of this is square but it just the bottom is not square. So the first thing we're going to do is clean this up. We're going to make it usable. And I ordered it a little bit large just so I could do this. I need pieces that are exactly 16 and 1 8 inch in width. friends. So thanks for watching my video. This turned out to be a lot longer project than I expected it to be. Um, this does conclude my project. So what I've decided to do is I bought their mount. It's really not designed for this saw, which is unfortunate because the saw is packed with literature that describes this. Um, I've thrown that literature away, but that's my fault. So um, what I did instead is I just mounted a platform to it, and this is good enough for doing lots of small repetitive work. And, and it's well worth $100. My back will thank me later. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, I'm going to stop this video. I hope you've enjoyed this. I do encourage you to buy um, a stand. Um, I think the Evolution stand is worth it. It's 109 dollars. You know, you could get the Harbor Freight one for 99 dollars. Maybe a 20 percent off coupon would actually work. You may, so maybe you get it for 80 bucks. You know what? This is a nice stand. It's packed well. All the parts are there. It has plenty of hardware, and it's it's nicely done. It's properly adjusted. I don't have to re-engineer very much. So I really recommend you spend the 20 bucks on the saw stand that they make. Um, so at this point, um, I hope you've enjoyed my video. Um, stay tuned for my next project, which is I'm actually going to make a couple of cuts with this and fabricate something. Um, it's getting late, but I want to get some stuff knocked out before I call it a night. Thanks for watching my video.